Hi, fancy seeing you here. Would you like to join me on a walk? I am on the hunt for some wild garlic today. And I also just really want to bask in some sunshine and go for a wander in my local forest to see how spring is getting on. It is a good day to be out, and I cannot wait to get stuck in. Little island of wild garlic. <laughs> so cute! You guys, I can smell the garlic. Okay, so you want to choose a leaf, let's say this one, you want to pluck it at the base of the leaf, here we go, ta-da, and then you put it into your bag. Now to the question, can you eat wild garlic straight away? Yes you can, you can eat it as it is, but <laughs> I would recommend washing it if you can, um, just because something might have weed on it, <laughs> or pissed on it, depending on where you're from. Um, so you just want to make sure, you can put it in, you can just eat it as it is, but yeah. And my hands now smell of garlic. <laughs> which I don't mind <laughs> but if you do mind maybe bring gloves <laughs> and most important with foraging make sure that you leave some for others I'm just bringing one bag what I'm talking about here is don't bring a group of 30 people and just completely eradicate an area um, if we're honest with ourselves with wild garlic it's literally everywhere so that's not likely to happen which is already quite massive it's like three liters right and it's not fully full as well because i need to be able to close it um and because it's just me that's plenty for me for now um i might not make pesto this year anyway so yeah so yeah be conscious of you know not completely Whereas with foraging in general, that's the rule really. Don't 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 go absolutely nuts. <laughs> it's a bit addictive though as well. So um, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy just going for it and filling the bag completely. But yeah. Anyway, some tips. <laughs>
That's pretty straight. <laughs> right, well, that'll do. <clears throat> Hi guys. Um, just a quick hello from my kitchen. <laughs> um, just to kind of tell you the sort of things that you can actually sort of make with wild garlic or put wild garlic in. So the first obvious one is pesto. Um, it, this, this is my last remaining jar from last year. It lasts me forever because I go through pesto really, really slowly. Um, but this is great on toast. This is great with um, like cheeses or um, you know, in dishes as well itself. Um, and then obviously the wild garlic itself, you can also put in dishes. So I put it in pasta dishes. I put it in um, like ramen or noodle soups. Um, I put it, you can, you can put it in stews. You can put it on toast as well as it is. So like <clears throat> um, I had a couple of, uh, you know, I've put like scrambled eggs on it recently, or you can make it just a cold one with like cheese and tomato or something like that. You put it in salads, you can chop it up, like literally it's so versatile and it's just so fragrant and lovely. Um, and you know, if you prefer to cook it, it'll add a nice kind of different taste to your meal. Um, and if you have it raw, then obviously it'll be garlicky without being as um, sharp as garlic cloves. Um, so yeah, those are just my little, just a bit of inspiration to get you maybe going if you're not sure like what to put it in. It can actually go on most, in most dishes in my opinion, savoury dishes obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was just a quick one to say that. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, something slightly sort of stripped back and simple um, this time around. But um, yeah, as usual, you know, if you do want to engage and comment or let me know you liked this video or that you didn't like it, um, I love to have feedback, um, whether negative or positive. So um, yeah, just give us a shout. Let's have a chat. <laughs> and um, yeah, as I said, subscribe if you want to be informed as to what's happening next. Click, click the little little bell icon. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> um, and I'll see you in the next one.